I'm talking about my favorite duologies. This video is paid promotion by the Disney Book Group in order to promote the release of their new book, Undying, which is the finale to the Unearthed duology by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Undying just came out January 22nd, so they're just trying to promote it right now, and I was happy to do so because I really loved the first book, Unearthed. Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner are best-selling authors. They've written together before, they've written separately, they've written with other authors. I have read their Starbound series, which is another YA sci-fi, and I really liked that. I've read Amy Kaufman's um, Illuminae series with Jay Kristoff. I've read Megan Spooner's Standalone Retelling. I generally just like their work. <laughs> it's marketed as Indiana Jones plus Lara Croft set in space and I think that's 100% accurate. Those are things that really appeal to me. I grew up watching the Indiana Jones movies even though I had to like cover my eyes at some point because I was a little bitty kid and like the faces melting were a bit too much for me, but I also grew up playing the Tomb Raider games. It's like the one video game franchise that I still to this day play everything that still comes out. This series is set in Earth's future and we basically have intercepted a message from somewhere in space from another race and when they decode it, it sounds like they are telling us the location of a new planet. So a lot of scientists and researchers want to go to this planet and bring back new energy sources to help Earth, but there are some people who think that that original message actually wasn't telling us to go to this planet, but to stay away from this planet because it could mean Earth's total destruction. We are following a character who just wants to go there, loot some stuff, come home and make money, plus the character who is a, actually like an archaeologist. He has studied a lot of stuff and he wants to find out, is this Earth's salvation or destruction. There is a lot of action in this series and there's also some romance. There's a lot of tension in the romance. You can tell these characters like each other but it's not straightforward like that. Like there's a lot of build up. I haven't finished this duology yet but I really want to read Undying as soon as I can. I didn't want to read it before filming this video because I didn't want it to come off like I was like too biased one way or the other or whatever but I have read Unearthed and I gave it um, four stars. I really, really liked it. I think if you like YA sci-fi or if you like anything else by either of these two authors that you would enjoy it. I really did and I can't wait to see how everything ends because book one ended with like just the last line of this book was perfect to propel you into wanting to know more. So I want to talk about some other duologies that I really love. I think one of the most talked about duologies currently and as long as they've been around is the Six of Crows duology. I know that Leigh Bardugo will be writing more books in this series set at a later time. Her Grishaverse world has a lot of books and are going to have a lot more books in them, but as of right now, these two books are considered a duology. They do wrap up a complete story, and I think they are as good as everyone says. If you have seen or read my Goodreads review of Crooked Kingdom, you know that I gave it three stars because there were a couple of things that bugged me, but I don't hold that against the author or the characters or like this world of books in general because I really think that Leigh Bardugo is a great writer. These characters are so you know, people that you can really root for and that you just get really into watching their story unfold. Six of Crows is a heist YA fantasy series. This one definitely doesn't have as much magic as the original Grisha books. I know that Netflix just announced that they are going to be doing a Grishaverse series with Six of Crows and Shadow and Bone and now is just like the best time. If you haven't read these yet or if you're wanting to reread them, I think it's like the best time to get in on it because a lot of people are rereading them or picking them up for the first time because of this Netflix news and you'll have tons of people to talk about your feelings on these books with. One of my OG favorite duologies that I have not got to talk about very much recently is the Not A Drop To Drink duology by Minnie McGinnis. Both of these books are fantastic. Honestly, I think that In A Handful Of Dust might be my favorite of all of her books. These are YA post-apocalyptic survival stories about a world where drinking water, that's water that's safe to drink, is no longer in abundance. Like our um, water processing plants have failed, there's a lack of water, people are trying to find land where they have ponds and rivers where they can 
um, you know, like sanitize the water and drink because when the water isn't sanitized, diseases spread. And so a lot of society has been wiped out by that. So In a Handful of Dust is a direct sequel to Not a Drop to Drink, but it follows a different character. So it is a companion, but you see the main character from this one a lot. You see these other characters, but this is set 10 years later. So if you ever read like a post-apocalyptic story where it ends and you're like, okay, but what happens after that? Like, was there ever like a solution to this society? Did they ever get back on their feet? This one kind of answers those questions. How are people still going about things 10 years later? And I just, I love this series. If you like survival stories, this is a series not to miss. Another survival story that I loved was the In the After duology by Demetria Lunetta. Earth is invaded by these creatures that look like aliens, like they're green, but they eat people. So it's kind of like a zombie slash alien thing going on. People are trying to survive. And this series, especially the first book, is very, very similar to the movie A Quiet Place. Although, of course, these books came out far before that, so I don't want you guys to think like, oh, they copied each other. They didn't. The creatures can find you if they hear you. And so, people have basically stopped talking and they communicate through sign language. I really loved it. It delivered everything I want in survival stories. I definitely love the first book a lot more than the second one. The second one just kind of went more into the group dynamics and I wasn't a big fan of the second location. In the After was one of my favorite books of last year so I definitely think this duology is worth a read. And the last duology that I have finished really liked and would recommend is the Warcross duo by Marie Lu. These are YA sci-fi stories. They're very technological based. They're very video game based virtual reality. It is about a main character who is a hacker and she hacks her way into this big competition of a virtual reality game and then she finds herself being used between the good guy and the bad guy. I think Marie Lu writes um, like morally gray characters and anti-heroes and stuff exceptionally well and this book definitely does that. It makes you question who is the good guy who is the bad guy. The biggest critique I hear about this series is that the main character isn't well developed and I have to say like that's kind of true but I was definitely there for the games like I like the character was just a lens to see it all through and I especially loved how the second book kind of took things in a new direction and it really emphasizes the impact that the internet or social media or just that technology in general has on our lives and like are we letting it control too much and that is a concept I almost always enjoy so if you like that these are definitely worth a shot. If you guys have read any of these duologies or if you have any to recommend to me or if you want to talk about the ones that you need to finish if you have a list like I do Please let me know that stuff down in the comments. I would love to know your favorite duologies. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye.